The mayor of Rock Hill shedding light on what's to come after the Panthers training facility slated for the city failed. Mayor John Geddes sharing his thoughts publicly for the first time since GT Real Estate filed for bankruptcy and terminated the project. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Skiva asked just how much money Rock Hill invested in the project and what's next for the massive site. Yeah, you know, the mayor has been for the most part silent about this project, but today he spoke out and made it clear that the city of Rock Hill will be involved when it comes to deciding the future of this site. With, with the Panthers, you know, the, the owner filed bankruptcy in order to get away from paying his general contractor that they got to move down to this area, which, you know, is what it is. Mayor John Geddes addressed concerns about the future of what was supposed to be the heart of the Panthers' development in Rock Hill. The land and building are owned by David Tepper's company, but Geddes says Rock Hill will be involved in deciding its future. Uh, that site is in the city limits. And the city of Rock Hill owns the water. We own the sewer. We own the electricity. We have zoning and we have the entitlements. We'll have what's there that needs to be there for the people of Rock Hill's best interest. GT Real Estate, the company behind the project, filed for bankruptcy earlier this month. Paperwork shows the company owes contractors around $26 million, as well as $21 million to York County. Geddes says Rock Hill also invested $20 million into the project, though the city is not listed as a credit on court paperwork. Geta says the money went towards public infrastructure that is now in place. The city of Rock Hill invested $20 million in public infrastructure on the site. So there's more than $20 million of public infrastructure in the ground on the site. And so when and if whoever buys that property, they'll buy it improved and we'll make sure that the, the taxpayers get the benefit of the investment they made in the site. Mayor Geddes also saying he doesn't want to say much more because he doesn't want to undermine litigation strategy. Now, we did reach out to representatives from GT Real Estate. We have not heard back yet. In Rock Hill, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte.